When I was first diagnosed, it had taken a couple years, just weird things were happening. And then when they said the myasthenia gravis, it was like, what? <laughs> Can you write that down for me? <laughs> I've had myasthenia gravis for 11 years. I was kind of surprised and shocked and didn't know a lot of information about it. I was at the ophthalmologist second time, came back, blurriness, and he said, um, I'm looking at this and I think you have myasthenia gravis. I said, come again? I didn't, never even heard the, the words in my life. I wasn't able to, to really walk. I wasn't able to wash my hair. I wasn't able to eat or to chew. So it had a really bad impact while I was sick. I first got bad symptoms when I was 16 and I was driving to school and all of a sudden I saw four taillights on a car in front of me and I was like, oh my god, something's wrong here. <laughs> As I'm playing in a match, I was playing doubles tennis, I noticed three balls coming at me, not one. I was really tired all the time just from doing nothing. I would sit at meetings, in meetings, and I'd find myself kind of going like this to not see double. My symptoms were basically all of my limbs didn't work. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't talk, and uh, I had a hard time moving. During the daytime at work, my eye would droop. I was having trouble with uh, fatigue, breathing, and um, so I went to see my primary care doctor. At this time, the medication that I'm taking, both prednisone and mestinone, my routine is pretty good because I go to the gym three times a week. However, when I come home, I'm tired and I have to rest. I just have to rest in between things. I know if I want to take a shower, sometimes I have to take five minutes after my shower because hot water affects me. I have to pace myself. It's a muscle exhaustion condition. Everybody's different, so you have to monitor yourself. really important to exercise just to get those muscles going because your muscles get weak and if your muscles are getting weak and you're not doing anything about it you're going to be in trouble. I really think eating healthier and definitely even though how hard it is to exercise it's so important and even you know again Sometimes I can only lift my leg three times, but I'll take a rest, but I'll do it several times throughout the day. I volunteered for five years with the former Connecticut chapter of the MGFA, and um, I really thoroughly enjoyed meeting people who had the MG and their caregivers and uh, offering our support. It wasn't until I went to my first, you know, group conference where I met other individuals that have the same um, disease as me. And from then on, you know, I, I really made it my mission and a huge goal of mine to help spread awareness and to help other people. And that's what I like to bring here to make sure people know that there are other people around, you know, that there is a future. It's enlightened me so much and just to hear everyone is different with this disease. It, it, it's very true. Everyone is different. Um, and this has helped a lot. I've really enjoyed it. One of the happy things is that I met the people in my support group. It's good to be with people that have the same disease who know what you're going through. It helps you because you feel that you're not alone.